Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video, I will bring to you the Kerala current affairs for the entire year 2021. I will be covering the current affairs from January 2021 to December 2021, giving you a holistic coverage of the Kerala current affairs. This video will, will be very useful for the Kerala PSC exam and all the exams in Kerala, the lower PCS exam, the SI exam, the TET exam, any exam of Kerala from scale A to scale D which requires you to study the Kerala current affairs. This video will be in English language only. Okay, so let's start the video. There is a police station in Kerala called Otapallam police station. It has been declared as the best police station of Kerala. It is located in which district of Kerala? It is located in Palakkad district. Okay, and these rankings are given by the Ministry of Home Affairs because the internal security of the country comes under Ministry of Home Affairs. So Home Ministry gave the list of the best police stations of India. And which is the best police station of India? It is the Sadar Bazar police station. Sadar Bazar police station which is located in Delhi, the capital. It is the best police station of India. And this list is given by BPRD, Bureau of Police Research and Development. Now no police station of Kerala was in top 10. But the best police station of Kerala is Otapallam police station in Palakkad. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he recently visited Kerala and he inaugurated a natural gas pipeline that will connect Kerala's Kochi to which city of Karnataka. So it will connect Kochi with Mangaluru, the coastal city of Mangaluru. And this pipeline is 450 km long from Kochi to Mangaluru and natural gas will be transported this pipeline. It is being built at a cost of 3000 crore rupees. So it will pass from Kochi in Kerala through Ernakulam, Trisur, Palakkad, Mallapuram, Koikod, Kannur and Kasargod. And finally it will reach Mangaluru in Dakshin Kannada district of Karnataka. Now this pipeline has been set up by which company? It has been set up by Gale. So Gale is a Maharatna company, Gas Authority of India Limited. Government of India is developing 11 industrial corridors in India. Okay, total 11 industrial corridors will be set up in India. Now, is Kerala a part of any one of those? Yes, Kerala is a part of one of those. It is extension of the Chennai Bengaluru industrial corridor. Now, Chennai Bengaluru industrial corridor is a completely different corridor. But this corridor will be extended to Kochi via Coimbatore and it will involve Palakkad industrial area of Kerala. So the extension of Chennai Bengaluru industrial corridor will pass through Kerala. It will go to Kochi via Coimbatore. Coimbatore is in Tamil Nadu, Kochi is in Kerala. And which industrial area of Kerala will be a part of it? It is Palakkad industrial area. Out of 11, Kerala is a part of 1. Silver Line Railway Project it will cover how many districts of Kerala? It's a very, very important question because there were a lot of protests against this project. There are environmental concerns also. It's a semi-high speed railway project. If you want to go from North Kerala, that is Kasargod, which is right at the border with Karnataka, to South Kerala, that is the capital Thiruvananthapuram, then it takes like 12 hours. But after this project is completed, it will take you only 4 hours, in fact less than 4 hours because the train will run at 200 km per hour. So it's a semi high speed railway and the total length will be 529.45 km, almost 530 km. It will link Tiruvananthapuram with Kasargod and total it will cover 11 districts. The answer is 11. So it will connect North Kerala with South Kerala. And this project is being executed by Kerala Rail Development Corporation Limited, KRDCL. The fourth global Ayurveda festival, it took place in Kerala. Okay. So, fourth global Ayurveda festival was aimed at discussions about Ayurveda and it was organized by the Center for Innovation in Science and Social Action, Kerala. It is located in which district? It is located in Tiruvananthapuram. Center for Innovation in Science and Social Action. It is a body which is located in 
Tiruvananthapuram and it organized the fourth global Ayurveda festival in Kerala. It was held from 12th of March to 19th of March. Now Ayurveda comes under the ministry of Ayush and the Ayush minister of India is Sarbanan Sonoval. Sarbanan Sonoval. The Tamil Nadu government, they are building something known as Indian Neutrino Observatory Project in the West Bodhi Hills. The problem is it will affect the biodiversity and environment in the Periyar Tiger Reserve and the Mathiketan Shola National Park of Kerala. Now, this Indian Neutrino Observatory, it will be established in which district of Tamil Nadu? It will be in the Theni district of Tamil Nadu. Theni district of Tamil Nadu. Very, very important question. But the problem is because of this mega science project, because of this mega science project, there are concerns about the tiger species and, and other biodiversity in Periyar Tiger Reserve and Mathiketan Shola National Park of Kerala. Now, Periyar is also a tiger reserve. In Kerala, we have two tiger reserves. One is the Parambikulam Tiger Reserve and the other one is the Periyar Tiger Reserve. Understood? Now, you know about Periyar, right? And E.V. Ramaswamy Periyar. One thing you need to remember that his birth anniversary will be observed on 17th of September, his birth anniversary as Social Justice Day by the government of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu government, they recently announced that the birth anniversary of E.V. Ramaswamy Periyar on 17th of September will be observed as Social Justice Day. And Periyar Tiger Reserve, where is it located? So it is located in the district of Idduki and Pathanam Thitta in the mountainous western ghats of Kerala. And the wildlife sanctuary is a tiger reserve. It is famous for tigers, elephant and lion-tailed macaques. By the way, elephant is the state animal of Kerala. Not just Kerala, elephant is the state animal of Jharkhand also and Karnataka also. Three states of India, Jharkhand, Karnataka and Kerala, they have elephant as their state animal. And Mathiketan Shola National Park is located in Idduki in Kerala. Again, it is famous for tigers, panthers, elephant, giant, grizzled squirrel, flying squirrel, etc. Nilgiri Tahar is also spotted here. Nilgiri Tahar is the state animal of Tamil Nadu. And if you want to see Nilgiri Tahar, you can go to Mukurthi National Park of Tamil Nadu. That is the best place to see. And why is the Nilgiri Hills called Nilgiri Hill? Because of the Nila Kurinji flowers. The blue color Nila Kurinji flower, they, once, they bloom once in 12 years. This is something to be remembered. And by the way, Tamil Nadu has a grizzled squirrel sanctuary, Shriviluputtur. But now it has been added with the forest of Meghamalai to create Meghamalai Shriviluputtur Tiger Reserve. So, Meghamalai Shriviluputtu Tiger Reserve is the 51st Tiger Reserve of India. It is located in Tamil Nadu. This extra information which I am giving you whenever required is useful and you should make notes if possible. What is the total length of the Shabri Mala Rail Project that will connect Angamali in Kerala's Ernakulam with Erumali in Kottayam district? So, again, it's a very ambitious project. It is called the Shabrimala Rail Project. In fact, this project has been pending since 1997. There is no development. It will benefit the devotees who come to Shabrimala. Shabrimala is a temple of Lord Ayappa. And now even the women's entry is allowed after the decision of the Supreme Court. The budget for the project is estimated at 517 crore and it is a 111 kilometer railway project. It will connect two villages. Angamali in Kerala Zanakulam and Erumali in Kottayam of Kerala. In fact, the cost of the project is now 2,817 crore. It has become five times because of the delay. And Iduki district does not have any railway station and will get the connectivity through this project. In which city of Kerala, India's first solar electric Roro service will be introduced? Now, Roro is roll-on, roll-off. It is India's first solar electric Roro service. It will be started in Kochi in Kerala. 
In fact, what is the name of India's first solar ferry, if I may ask you? It is called Aditya. Aditya is the name of India's first solar ferry. In fact, this solar ferry also started its operations in Kerala only. And now we will have India's first roll-on, roll-off solar electric service. It will be started in, in Kochi in Kerala. Which Indian state has signed a MOU with Kerala for replicating Kerala's responsible tourism initiative? Kerala, you know, is very, very accomplished in tourism. So we are talking about Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, the heart of incredible India is their tagline for tourism. And Kerala, of course, is God's own country. So with the help of Kerala, Madhya Pradesh will also try to have a better tourism. The answer is Madhya Pradesh. Which scheme has been launched by the Vedic Erudite Foundation in Kerala under which the free coaching will be given for civil service exam and other competitive exam across the state? What is the name of this scheme? It was launched by Kerala Governor Arif Muhammad Khan recently and it is called One School, One IS. One School, One IS. Free coaching will be provided. And they want to target approximately 10,000 boys and girls across the state. In which city of Kerala, India's first labor movement museum was established? So remember, in 1922, 100 years back, India's first labor body was set up. What was the name? The Travancore Labor Association. It was formed in Alapuya, in Kerala. Travancore Labor Association was the first labor body of India set up 100 years back. And therefore, now 50,000 square feet labor movement museum, it has been opened in Alapuya in Kerala. Understood? And the visitors, they will be able to see everything about coir industry because Alapuya is one of the hearts of the coir industry. And this labor body that was formed in Travancore, Travancore Labor Association was the name. It was formed in Lapuya. In the then princely state of Travancore, it was formed to protect the interest of those workers who were into the coir industry. So if you visit this museum, you will be able to see how the coir is woven and you can see everything about the industry. You will also be able to see the labor reforms and you can also see the local people who participated in India's freedom struggle. In which city of Kerala, the main campus of India's first gender park is being established? India's first gender park will be set up in Koikod. Koikod is also famous for the IIM, Indian Institute of Management. And the gender park will be established. What is the purpose? The purpose is to create gender equality, talk about gender-based issues. In fact, the gender park was established by the government of Kerala in 2013 to work towards the gender equality. The main campus is now set up at Silver Hills in Koikod in 24 acres of area. Kerala opened its first human milk bank in which hospital? Human Milk Bank was established with the support of Rotary Club of Cochin Global and it was set up. It was inaugurated by that time Health Minister K.K. Shelja in the Ernakulam General Hospital. The answer is option A. Ernakulam General Hospital, first human milk bank. What is the meaning of human milk bank? So, it is a breast milk bank. It will ensure that the newborn babies who are not ill or diseased and who are not able to get mother's milk they will get mother's milk because mother's milk has very important things like colostrum which is the yellowish color milk that comes out initially is full of antibodies important immunoglobulins so there are lot of babies who are born because of premature delivery or they are not able to get breast milk mother's milk so, mother's milk will be stored here and it will be given to these babies. Which mobile app has been launched in Kerala to help the public identify snakes and avail proper treatment on time for the snake bites? The name of the mobile app is Snakepedia. And Kerala is the first state to have a dedicated app where all the information about snakes is provided. And during the rainy season especially, the snakes, they 
increase in quantity, increase in population. It will also help the doctors to treat snake bites. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Pugalur to Thrissur power transmission project. It is the first high voltage direct current system interconnection of Kerala with national grid. Now, Pugalur is in which district of Tamil Nadu? Pugalur is in Karur district of Tamil Nadu. And from here to Thrissur, there is a power transmission project that has been inaugurated. That has been inaugurated. And it is worth 320 kilovolt. 2000 megawatt state of the art project it is the first high voltage direct current project it will connect kerala with tamil nadu and it has cost 5070 crore rupees 5070 crore rupees prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the water treatment plant at aruvikkara in kerala it is located in which district and because PM has inaugurated it, so it becomes important. So remember, it is located in Tiruvananthapuram, the capital. Tiruvananthapuram. It has been set up at a cost of 70 crore rupees. It will improve the lives of 13 lakh citizens because it will help increase per capita water supply in Tiruvananthapuram from 100 litre per day to 150 litre per day. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Kasar God solar power project it is a 50 megawatt solar power plant established on 250 acres of land in Kasargod. the capacity is 50 megawatt prime minister modi also led the foundation stone of integrated command and control center and smart roads project in tiruvananthapuram so direct question can come where is the integrated command and control center set up it has been set up in tiruvananthapuram and tiruvananthapuram is one of the smart cities under the smart cities mission under which scheme the Kerala government has decided to build smart Anganwadis, replacing the existing conventional structure with an aim to provide early childhood care and make them more child friendly. Smart Anganwadis will be set up under the smart Anganwadi scheme. And 48 smart Anganwadis will be constructed in Kerala at a total cost of 9 crore rupees. So Anganwadis are a part of ICDS or integrated child development scheme so what all the services are there in anganwadi there is vaccination there is informal education right all of these facilities are there there is also food that is given especially to children from 0 to 6 years of age so these type of facilities are there in the anganwadis what was the rank of Kerala in the Sustainable Development Goal Index that was released by the Niti Aayog for financial year 21? Now there are 17 Sustainable Development Goals which need to be realized by 2030 and Kerala was the best performer with a score of 75. So Kerala topped the Sustainable Development Goals Index of the Niti Aayog. In fact, this index was released by the Niti Aayog in partnership with United Nations. And the poorest performing state of India was Bihar. What is the rank of the Kerala State Pollution Control Board in the Transparency Index Rating that was released by the Center for Science and Environment New Delhi? Odisha and Telangana, they were the best performing states, which means that their Pollution Control Board is the most transparent. And Kerala State Pollution Control Board was ranked at 10th position. And Odisha and Telangana, they were the joint winners. Who is the Vice Chancellor of India's first digital university? Digital University Kerala. By the way, Kerala is the first state in India to have a digital university. It is called Kerala University of Digital Sciences, Innovation and Technology. And the first Vice Chancellor is Dr. Saji Gopinath. Dr. Saji Gopinath. Understood? Archaeological Survey of India, they have declared that very old church called St. George's Orthodox Church, it is located in Cheppard in Kerala. It has been now declared as a centrally protected monument of national importance. Very, very important. Where is it located? So this church is located in Alapuya. It is one of the rarest churches. It is located in Kerala. In fact, it is believed that it was established in 950 AD. That is how old it is. But it was rebuilt in 1952. It's a traditional Kerala church. Okay. 
It has beautiful mural paintings also on the walls. There are 47 murals and paintings. These paintings have Persian and Kerala mural effect. So it is located in Nalapuya, St. George's Orthodox Church and it is declared now as a monument of national importance. Which athlete from Kerala won the gold medal at the South Asian Wushu Championship that took place in Nepal? Remember Anian Midhun. Anian Midhun of Kerala, he is from Trisur. He won the gold medal in the South Asian Wushu Championship. Midhun is also a black belt in Karate and he is also a national champion in Wushu and national champion in Kickboxing. Recently, which former governor of Kerala passed away who was also six-time member of parliament from Amritsar? What was his name? He was a senior congress leader and six times member of parliament from Amritsar. His name was Ragunandan Lal Bhatia. He passed away. He was 100 years old. So, he was elected to the Lok Sabha from Amritsar in 1972 and then again five times more in 1980, 85, 92, 96 and 99. And he was the governor not just of Kerala but also of Bihar. Okay. He was the governor of Bihar from 2008 to 2009 and he was the governor of Kerala from 2004 to 2008. In fact, he also served as Minister of State in the Ministry of External Affairs in 1992 P.V. Rao government. Which scheme has been launched by the Kerala government in which women of the state, they will be given loan to refurbish their kitchen to reduce the workload of women's domestic labor. So, this scheme is the Smart Kitchen Scheme. It was launched on 10th of July 2021. Women will be given, housewives will be given loan to refurbish their kitchen. The loan will be at a very very low interest rate and it will reduce the workload of the women's domestic labor. Which scheme has been launched by the Kerala government to boost job prospects in the state by supporting knowledge workers. So, Kerala government has started knowledge economy mission. Knowledge economy mission to boost the job prospects in the state by supporting knowledge workers. In order to promote skills and strengthen the higher education system and to promote technological transformation, the government will spend 200 to 300 crore rupees. This is what they are calling the knowledge economy fund. And a plan will also be made to provide basic facilities and social security for knowledge workers. Understood? So these people who will support knowledge economy mission will be known as knowledge workers. A new plant species was spotted in the Wagamo Hills in Kerala and it has been named now Argostema quarantena. It is a which type of plant species? Remember, it is a type of coffee. It is a type of coffee. In fact, Kerala, Karnataka, these two states are one of the leading producers of coffee in India. You must have heard about the Robusta coffee. You must have heard about the, actually Arabica coffee is also there. So there are two types of coffee. Okay, that is very, very popular. So what, which coffee is most popular? So one is the Kurg coffee. Okay, Kurg in Karnataka. Then we have Baba Budangiri Hills coffee. Again, Karnataka, Chikmangaluru, Araku Valley in Vishakapatnam in Andhra and Vyanad coffee. So, Vyanad coffee is the one which is very very popular and it is a Robusta variety. Robusta variety. So, the answer is coffee. University Grants Commission of India has given a list of 100 places. These are tourist destinations in India. They will be visited by the students of colleges and universities as a part of Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat mission. Now you need to tell me out of these 100 places, how many places are there from Kerala? So there are three places from Kerala, Kumara Kom, Bekal Fort and Fort Kochi. The answer is three. Kumara Kom, Bekal Fort and Fort Kochi. These are the three places in the 100 places identified by the University Grants Commission. And who is the new chairman of UGC? M. Jagdish Kumar. He is the new chairman of the UGC. How many athletes from Kerala they participated in the Tokyo Olympics? A very good question. How many total they participated? So, nine Kerala athletes they participated in the Tokyo Olympics. Let me tell you their names. P. R. Srijesh is the goalkeeper of the hockey. 
and he was also awarded the World Games Athlete of the Year. He is only the second Indian to win this award. World Games Athlete of the Year. Rajan Prakash, swimmer. KT Irfan, race walker. Mohammad Anas Yahya, athletics. Alex Anthony Amat Jacob, also athletics. Noah Nirmal Tom, athletics. MP Jabir, athletics. And M. Shri Shankar, long jumper. So these are the nine who... And did they win any medal? Yes. P.R. Srijesh, he was a part of the Indian hockey team that won the bronze medal after 41 years. Because it was in 1980 in the Moscow Olympics that India won a bronze medal in hockey. So after 41 years, we won a, we won a medal in hockey. Okay, PR Srijesh. And which country was the topper or medal tally winner? Number one was America in the normal games. And in the Paralympics, it was China. China was the medal tally winner. Also, who was India's flag bearer? So, in the normal games, first, first time talking about, in the opening ceremony, it was Mary Com and Manpreet Singh. Mary Com is a boxer from Manipur, six times world champion. And Manpreet Singh, is he was the captain of the hockey team that time. And in the closing ceremony, it was Bajrang Punia, who won the bronze medal in wrestling from Haryana. Now let's talk about the para games. In the opening ceremony, the flag bearer was Tek Chand. And in the closing ceremony, it was Avni Lakheda, the shooter who has recently been awarded the Padma Shri also. Euphylactix Kerala. It was recently discovered in Kerala. It is a species of what? So it is a new species of frog. It is a type of frog. And it was discovered from Thattekad bird century. Attacked bird century. Where is it located? It is located in Ernakulam district of Kerala. So it is a new species of frog. And it is called Euphylactix Kerala to honor the remarkable biodiversity of the Western Ghats in Kerala. Understood? So answer is frog. Kerala government has made a committee, constituted a committee, under whose chairmanship to look after the safety of the fishermen. So Kerala has set up a committee for the safety of the fishermen and it will be chaired by Mr. P. Sahadevan. Mr. P. Sahadevan, the committee will study and submit a report on the methods to resolve issues related to the safety in the high seas, the coastal security and vessel monitoring system. It will also look after illegal fishing. Which organization has approved a loan of $125 million for the Resilient Kerala program? Resilient Kerala program is to help in making Kerala better equipped against the natural disasters. So this loan has been given by the World Bank IBRD, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development which is a part of the World Bank and it's a loan given for 14 years. And who can forget 2018 floods in Kerala, one of the worst floods ever seen in the Pamba river basin mainly and the Mulla Periyar Dam made it only worse. So now, Resilient Kerala program is to make Kerala more resilient to the natural disasters. Which district in Kerala has launched an initiative called Books at Doorstep to revive reading habit among the school children? So it is an initiative of Ernakulam District Library Council. The answer is Ernakulam. Books at Doorstep. The answer is option C. And they want to reach out to 25,000 families spread across 500 libraries in, this, in the district. The idea is to lend 1 lakh books a month. Okay, 1 lakh books a month to 25,000 families, which means 4 books per family. Which campaign has been launched by the Kerala government to vaccinate all the pregnant women in the state against COVID? This program is called Matru Kavacham. Matru Kavcham. Pregnant women, they can receive the COVID vaccine at any time during their pregnancy. And vaccination will be made available in all the district hospitals. So the program is called Matru Kavcham. Parumkulam village has become the first book village of Kerala. It is located in which district? It is Kerala's first book village. And it's a small village located in Kollam district. The answer is Kollam. There is a library here called Bapuji Smarak Grand Hasala. So this library 
is at the forefront of this initiative. For which section of the population the Kerala government has removed upper age limit for admission to numerous educational programs available in the state, universities and its affiliated schools. So Kerala government has removed the upper age limit for the transgender community. Transgender community. Understood? And which is the first state in India to give reservation to the transgenders in the jobs? It is Karnataka. Karnataka is the first state in India to give reservation to the transgenders in the jobs. Which initiative has been launched by the Kerala police for protection of women in public, private and digital spaces in Kerala? It is called Pink Protection Project. Pink Protection Project aims to prevent dowry related issues, cyber bullying and humiliation of women in the public places. So, there will be special police for that and they will also collect information from panchayat member, neighbors and other locals about any dowry related harassment of the women. Pink control rooms, they will be set up in all the 14 districts of Kerala. There will be a pink shadow patrol team also that will be active and pink Romeo squads will also be there. These squads will have only women police officers. Which project has been launched in Kerala in which the mini poly house are they are built on agriculture farms to promote high-tech agriculture practices. This project is called Krishi Kern project. Krishi Kern project it has been launched in Kerala and it is a joint initiative of the National Society for Agriculture Horticulture and the Sustainability Foundation and there is a company called Core 3 Innovation. So under Krishi Kern project a small polyhouse will be built on 2.5 percent land and they will plant long beans, tomatoes, salad cucumbers, bell peppers, green leafy vegetables in these mini poly houses. They will also do fish farming or mushroom farming and the idea is to increase the income of the farmers. What is the rank of Kerala in the Niti Aayog State Health Index for 2020? This index shows the quality of the healthcare in a state. So Kerala was ranked number one last year also and this year also. Kerala topped this index. Kerala has the best health care of India and Tamil Nadu was second. Kerala was number one among the large states. Mizoram was number one among the small states and Dadra, Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu they were number one among the union territories. This index is given by the Niti Aayog in partnership with the World Bank and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. What is the rank of Kerala in the Swachh Sarvekshan, Cleanliness Survey? So, overall rank of Kerala, you have to tell me. The number one rank was of Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is the cleanest state of India. Kerala was at very poor 22nd in the Swachh Sarvekshan. Kerala was ranked 22nd in the Swachh Sarvekshan. Chhattisgarh was awarded the cleanest state of India for third year in a row. Among the small states, Jharkhand was the cleanest. When I say small, I mean those states which have less than 100 urban local bodies. And when I say large state, I mean the ones with more than 100 urban local bodies. And the cleanest city of India is Indore, which is in Madhya Pradesh. For fifth year in a row, it is the cleanest city of India. And this was the sixth Swachh Sarvekshan. It was released by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. For which section of the population Sahaj Jeevanam project has been launched in Kerala to ensure doorstep delivery of services and provide any type of assistance and mental support during stress. Sahaj Jeevanam project was launched by the Social Justice Department of Kerala for the differently abled people. The answer is persons with disabilities. Sahaj Jeevanam project. There is a tunnel called Kutiran. It is the first road tunnel in Kerala. It is located in which district? Kutiran tunnel is the first road tunnel in Kerala. It is a twin tube tunnel and it is located in Thrissur. And it will improve the connectivity between Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. So this tunnel is 1.6 km long. It also passes through a wildlife sanctuary of Kerala called Pichi Vazahani Wildlife Sanctuary. It passes through the Peachy Vazahani Wildlife Sanctuary. India's first biobank for heart failure research was inaugurated at which institute of Kerala? 
the first heart failure biobank. It came up in the Shri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Science and Technology, Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. Shri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Sciences. The first drone forensic lab and research center of India has come up in which district of Kerala? Remember, it is the first drone forensic lab of India. It has come up in the capital, Tiruvananthapuram. It was inaugurated by Pinarayi Vijayan and it was inaugurated at Drone Forensic Laboratory at the Kerala State Police Cyberdome. Cyberdome is a technological research and development center of the Kerala Police. Who is the brand ambassador of adventure tourism in Kerala? So, Olympian Parattu Ravindran Srijesh or PR Srijesh, goalkeeper of the Indian hockey team, he was named the brand ambassador of adventure tourism in Kerala. The answer is PR Srijesh. PR Srijesh is from Ernakulam. Which of the following is the traditional boat race in Kerala? So, Vallam Kali is the traditional boat race in Kerala. It is a form of canoe racing and it is mainly conducted during the season of the harvest festival Onam in the spring season. So, these boats are called snake boats. Okay. And there is a trophy also called Nehru Trophy. Nehru Trophy. Snake boat race or Vallam Kali. It's an important tourist attraction also. Now, there are three Ramsar lakes, Ramsar sites in Kerala. There is the Vembanad Coal Lake. There is the Ashtamudi Lake. Ashtamudi Lake and do you know that the Vembanad Coal Lake, you know it is the longest lake of India. It is the longest lake of India and then the third one is the Sastam Kota Lake. These three Ramsar sites are there and usually the boat racing happens in the Vembanad Coal Lake. Understood? Vembanad Coal Lake. Recently, which world-renowned physicist passed away who was also selected for Kerala Shastra Pruskaram 2021? World-renowned physicist professor Tanu Padmanabhan, he passed away. Tanu Padmanabhan, he was a distinguished professor at Pune's Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics. His field of interest was quantum theory, gravitation, cosmology and structure formation in the universe. In which city of Kerala, a new digital hub was inaugurated at Technology Innovation Zone by the Kerala Startup Mission. So, Kerala Chief Minister inaugurated a new digital hub at the Technology Innovation Zone in Kochi by the Kerala Startup Mission. The answer is option C. What is the rank of Kerala in the Group A of the Good Governance Index? In the Good Governance Index, large states were divided into two groups, Group A and Group B. Kerala was in Group A and Kerala's rank was 5th. Gujarat topped Group A and Madhya Pradesh topped Group B. Himachal topped the Northeast and Hilly states and Delhi topped the Union Territories. This index was given by DARPG, Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. What is the rank of Kerala in the Public Affairs Index among the large states? In the Public Affairs Index, Kerala was the best performing state. Kerala's rank was number 1. Kerala was the topper among the large states. It was the 6th edition of Public Affairs Index and it was released by the Public Affairs Centre which is a think tank based in Bengaluru. So, Kerala was number 1 among the large state. And Sikkim was number 1 among the small state and Puducherry was number one among the union territories. Which centers will be established in Kerala to bring the children addicted to online gaming into mainstream society? These centers will be known as the digital de-addiction centers. And Kerala is the first state in India where de-addiction centers have been opened. Remember, it was inaugurated by Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. Adayur Chili of Kerala has got the GI tag, Geographical Indications tag. Adayur village is in which district of Kerala? Adayur Chili got the GI tag. Adayur is located where? So it is located in Mallapuram. 
and this chili has been cultivated for more than 150 years. This chili has a very unique low pungency. It is not very bitter and it has a very specific taste and smell. So it is from Mallapuram. And Kutiattur Mango of Kerala also got the GI tag. Kutiattur village is located in which district of Kerala? Kutiattur village is located in Kannur. In Kannur in Kerala. So Kutiattur Mango is a popular and tasty traditional mango which is grown in the Gram Panchayats of Kannur district. Which city in Kerala got an award for the most sustainable transport system in Urban Mobility India Conference that was hosted by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs? So, the Kochi city. Kochi got the award for the most sustainable transport system. And which city in India has the best public transport system? It is Surat in Gujarat. Surat in Gujarat has the best public transport system and Kochi in Kerala has the most sustainable transport system. Union Minister for Port Shipping and Waterways, Sarbanan Sonoval inaugurated a new lighthouse at Valyazikal in Kerala. It is in which district? You can see this beautiful lighthouse here. So it is located in Alapuya and it was inaugurated by the cabinet rank minister. So it becomes an important question. Understood? And the government of India has approved 75 lighthouses in the entire country and 11 other lighthouses apart from this one they will be developed because these help in tourism also. Recently which rice from Kerala got the GI tag? So remember it is the Navara rice from Kerala which got the GI tag. Navara rice. It is harvested two times a year. And Navara rice also has medicinal properties. It has medicinal properties also. So Navara rice from Kerala got the GI tag. And Navara rice is from which place in Kerala? Like where is it grown? Navara rice is mainly grown in Palakkad. Okay, it is grown in Palakkad. Palakkad in Kerala is the main land of the Navara rice. And any other rice you can tell me? So Pokali rice is also from Kerala. It is a GI tagged variety. Pokali rice is a salt resistant rice. It is grown in the water logged region of the Alapuya, Trisut and Ernakulam. It is mainly cultivated from June to November. And then we have Vayanad variety of rice. So one is the Jira Kashala rice from Vayanad. And then we also have the Gandh Kashala rice from Vayanad. Okay. These are non basmati rice, very very popular. And then we have the Kaipad rice also. It is grown in Kannur, Kasargod and Koikod. In North Kerala mainly it is grown. Kaipad rice. One more rice I will tell you. And that is again from Palakkad. It is called Palakka Dan Mata rice. It is grown in Palakkad. Which project has been started by the Kerala Tourism to take tourism deep into the interiors and hinterland of the state under the Responsible Tourism Mission? What is the name of this project? This project is called Street Project. Street, what is the full form of street? Sustainable, Tangible, Responsible, Experiential, Ethnic Tourism Hubs. In, for, in short, Street. Under this project, different themes are there. Experiential Tourism, Life Experience Street, Cultural Street, Water Street, Agro-Tourism Street, Art Street. So you can actually live in the villages of Kerala and you can experience the local culture. It, you, you know, you will be presented with a unique identity of the state. Under a NASA and ISRO collaboration, which of the following University of Kerala has been chosen to join a research project backed by the Space Application Center of ISRO? So, which one? It is Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies, in short, KUFOS. And KUFOS is located in Kochi in Kerala. And NASA and ISRO, they will also undertake a joint satellite mission called NISAR. That will be launched in January 2023. One Kerala University has been chosen for a research project called Kerala Universities of Fisheries and Ocean Studies. How many people from Kerala they were honored with Padma Shri in 2022? So, 
in the entire India, four people got the Padma Vibhushan, the highest Padma Award and second highest Indian civilian award after Bharat Ratna. 17 people got the Padma Bhushan and 107 people got Padma Shri. Total 128 people got the Padma Award. And how many people from Kerala they got the Padma Shri? Four people. There is Shankar Narayan Menon for sports, Sozamma Aipe for animal husbandry, P. Narayan Kurup literature education, and K. V. Rabia for social work. And for 2021, how many people from Kerala got the Padma Awards? So, six people from Kerala were given Padma Award. Out of that, one got Padma Bhushan, Mr. Krishna Nair, Shanta Kumari Chitra for art, and Padma Shri was given to five. Nobody got Padma Vibhushan from Kerala for 2021. Damodaran Ketapram for art, Madhavan Nambiar for sport, KK Ramachandra Pulavar for art, Balan Putari for literature education, and Dhananja Divakar for medicine. Kerala High Court has become India's first paperless court. Which Supreme Court judge inaugurated the smart courtroom in the Kerala High Court on 1st of January 2022? You have to remember Kerala High Court is India's first paperless court. Okay. So, it is D.Y. Chandrachud. D.Y. Chandrachud is also the chairman of the E-Committee of the Supreme Court. So, he inaugurated the smart courtrooms. And what is the retirement age for a High Court judge? It is 62 years. Recently, a new plant species called Fimbri stylis sunili was discovered in which district of Kerala? It was discovered in the biodiversity rich Western Ghat region in Tiruvananthapuram. It is called Fimbri stylis sunili. It is named after C. N. Sunil, who is a renowned botanist and retired professor in the SNM College. Understood? Recently, a new plant species Neonotis prabhui was also discovered from which district of Kerala? So remember, it has been discovered from Vayanad, from a grassland called Kembra Peak Grassland of Vayanad. And it is named after K. M. Prabhu Kumar, Senior Scientist in NBRI, National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow. K. M. Prabhu Kumar. What is the rank of Kerala in the Niti Aayog's India Innovation Index report? Now you can see in the India Innovation Index report of 2020, which was released in 2021. This was the second edition and both for both the edition, first and second, that is for 2019 and 2020, Karnataka was the winner. Karnataka was the topper. It topped the index and Kerala was ranked at fifth position in the Niti Aayog's India Innovation Index. How many cities in Kerala are a part of Smart Cities Mission? They will be made into Smart Cities. So two, two cities from Kerala, they are a part of Smart Cities Mission, Tiruvananthapuram and Kochi. There is a village in Kerala called Kumbalangi. It is India's first sanitary napkin free village. Nobody will use sanitary napkin in this village. They will rather use menstrual cups. Because menstrual cups, they are plastic free. They are more nature friendly. So menstrual cups, they were distributed to those women who are aged 18 and above in the Kumbalangi village. 5000 menstrual cups were distributed. And this is a part of Aval Kai initiative. Kumbalangi village is located in Ernakulam. It is India's first sanitary napkin free village. In which district of Kerala, the citizen constitution literacy campaign was launched? Everybody should read the constitution. So, it was launched in Kollam. In fact, Kollam is the first constitutional literate district of India. It is the first constitutional literate district of India. Very, very important question. In which district of Kerala, the first World Deaf T20 Cricket Championship, it will take place in January 2023. It will take place in Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. The capital from 10th January to 20th of January 2023. Eight countries will take part in it. Which freshwater fish found in Karnataka and Kerala has been included in Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act, giving it maximum protection because it is in danger. So it is called Denison Barb Harb. Denison Harb or Miss Kerala. Actually, it is Barb only. Denison Barb. Miss Kerala. It's a native freshwater fish we see found in Karnataka and Kerala. Denison Barb. It is a red line torpedo barb and rose line shark. It is 
that. What is the scientific name? It is called Sayadriya Denisoni. Sayadri is other name for the Western Ghat. It is called Sayadri. And it is given maximum protection. It is, according to IUCN, it is vulnerable. But its population is fast degrading. Its beauty is its biggest threat to survival because it is an aromatic fish. It is highly sought after fish in the aquarium trade. What is the name of Kerala's first ever scientific bird atlas, which will provide information about all the bird species that you will find in Kerala? So it is called Kerala Bird Atlas, KBA. It will provide you all the information about the bird species. A scientist who studies the birds is known as ornithologist. And a famous ornithologist from India, also called the bird man of India, was Dr. Salim Ali. Dr. Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary is in Goa. Dr. Salim Ali National Park is in Jammu Kashmir. Understood? And they are saying that it is Asia's largest bird atlas. In which district of Kerala, India's first graphene innovation center will be established? It has been established at a cost of 86 crore rupees in Thrissur. Thrissur is also famous for the Thrissur Puram festival that takes place in the Vadakkunathan temple of Kerala. Graphene Innovation Center has been launched in Thrissur. Graphene is a very strong material. It has remarkable properties. It is the thinnest, most electrically and thermally conductive material in the world. Recently, Tamil Nadu government, they requested Kerala to increase the outflow from Siruvani Dam so that more water can reach Coimbatore. Siruvani Dam is located in which district of Kerala? Siruvani Dam, where is it located? It is located in Palakka district of Kerala. So, M.K. Stalin requested Kerala government to release more water from Siruvani Dam so that it can reach Coimbatore. Kerala's first Karwa Park, it is set to come up in Wagamo Hill Station. Where is it located? And what is Karwa Tourism? In Karwa Tourism, you have this 5-star Karwa or a very luxury bus with all the latest amenities. It goes from places to places. You can park it anywhere and you can enjoy the local environment. And first Karwa Park was set up in Wagamo, which is a hill station in Idduki district. The answer is Idduki. So Karwa Tourism has started in Kerala. Haryana men's and Kerala women's teams, they won the 70th Senior National Volleyball Championship. So Kerala women's team is the national volleyball champion. It was held where? What was the host state? It was organized by Odisha. It was organized by Odisha in Bhuvneshwar, in Kite University. Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology or Kite, Biju Patnaik Indoor Stadium. The name of the stadium is Biju Patnaik Indoor Stadium in Kite University in Bhuvaneshwar in Odisha. Kerala Startup Mission has collaborated with which tech company for local startups to connect with the global startup community? Kerala Startup Mission or KSUM has partnered with Google. The answer is Google and they also organized an event called Huddle Global 2022. And Kerala is the first state in India to introduce carbon neutral farming. Carbon neutral farming. Carbon neutral farming will be implemented in 13 farms under the agriculture department and tribal areas. And steps are taken to convert the state seed farm at Aluva, Ernakulam district to a carbon neutral farm. So Aluva in Ernakulam will be carbon neutral farm. Okay. In the second phase, model carbon neutral farms will be developed in 140 assembly constituencies in all the Kerala, entire Kerala, all the 140 assembly constituencies, carbon neutral farms will be set up. But for now, they will be set up in Aluva and Ernakulam. What is the name of the WhatsApp chatbot launched by the Kerala tourism for the tourist? It will answer all the queries of tourists. It will provide them information about destination experiences, stay and travel. Also the COVID protocols for traveling. It is called Maya. It is a 24-7 WhatsApp chatbot called Maya. And all you have to do is send a message to the WhatsApp number 75105-12345. Kerala Institute of Local Administration, KILA, they have proposed under 
they have proposed which city to be named as the city of literature under the UNESCO program. So remember, Koi code will be developed as city of literature under the UNESCO program. It will be developed as a creative city of literature. Now total six cities of Kerala will be developed as creative cities. So let's talk about Tiruvananthapuram, the capital. It will be developed as the city of peace. City of peace. Then there is Kolam. It will be developed as city of biodiversity. Very, very important. The Kochi city will be developed as the city of design. The Thrissur city will be developed as city of learning. And finally, we have Kannur. Kannur will be developed as a city of craft and folk art. So, six cities of Kerala will be developed as creative city. Koi Kod will be the city of literature. Thrissur city of learning. Kochi city of design. Kolam city of biodiversity. And Tiruvananthapuram city of peace. The annual Kanagi festival was celebrated in the famous Mangala Devi temple, which is at the border of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. It is located in which tiger reserve? It is located in the Periyar Tiger Reserve. Periyar Tiger Reserve. And the famous Kanagi festival takes place in the Mangala Devi temple. Understood? So this is a very important temple. Kanagi is the name of the deity that is in the temple. So this temple is quite popular and there is a Chitra Purnim, Purnima festival that takes place here in the month of April and May. Who among the following British engineer built the Mulla Periyar Dam? Now Mulla Periyar Dam is a very important dam. Okay, It is a gravity dam which is located in Ituki district of Kerala. It is located at a place called Thekadi in Ituki. But it also provides water, drinking water, to five districts of Tamil Nadu. Theni, Dindigul, Madurai, Shivaganga and Ramanathpuram. They get drinking water. And it also provides irrigation water to more than 2 lakh acres of land in Tamil Nadu. And that is why M.K. Stalin, the new chief minister of Tamil Nadu, he has decided to build a statue of the British engineer Colonel John Pennyquick who built this dam in his hometown Camberley in Britain. That is how much important this dam is for, for Tamil Nadu. It is located in Iduki in Kerala, but it is important for five districts of Tamil Nadu. Deni, Dindigul, Madurai, Sivaganga and Ramanathpuram. Two passport seva kendra located in which two cities will be transformed into all women passport seva kendra to mark the International Women's Day that is 8th of March. In the entire India, these two Passport Seva Kendra will be run by completely women. They will be all women Passport Seva Kendra. One will is in Delhi, one is in Kochi. Delhi and Kochi. Which company has built the first battery powered electric boat for the Kochi Water Metro project of Kochi Metro Rail Limited? Kochi is the first city in India to have a water metro service. And the company is Cochin Shipyard. Cochin Shipyard. And the Kochi Water Metro System will have 78 ferries. They will link 38 terminals spread across 76 route kilometers. And Kochi is India's first city to have a water metro project. The first boat that was launched here was called Muziris. Kerala Art and Craft Village Organization from Kovalam in Kerala was awarded the International Craft Award for 2021 for the best craft village in the world. Where is it located? It was declared the best craft village in the world by World Craft Council International, Kerala Art and Craft Village Organization from Kovalam. So where is it located? It is located in Tiruvananthapuram, again the capital. It is the only award India received in the non-individual category in the World's Craft Council International Awards. A new Karangid species called Scomberoids pelagicus was identified from Kerala. It is a type of what? It is a newly identified fish. In the local language, this fish is called Pola Vatta. Pola Vatta. 
Recently, Green Freight Corridor 2 was launched in Kerala. It is a type of what? Green Freight Corridor was launched in June 2021. And the voyage, the first journey was launched from Cochin Port to Bepor and Azikal Port located in North Kerala. So, it is a type of coastal shipping service. Coastal shipping service. So, from Cochin Port to Bepor and Azikal Port. The service, the first journey was from Cochin Port to Bepor to Azikal. It's a coastal shipping service. And Cochin Port is a major port. There are 13 major ports in India. The 13th one was the Vadhavan port in Maharashtra. Which program has been launched in Kerala to lend holistic support to children in need of care and protection and to the survivors of sexual abuse? Which program? It is called Kaval Plus program. It has been started by the Department of Women and Child Development in Kerala. This program has been implemented in different places. In Tiruvananthapuram, in Palakkad, Ernakulam, Mallapuram, Kannur, Idduki, at different places. Who is known as the Iron Lady in Kerala politics? Iron Lady. He was the member of the world's first democratically elected communist government cabinet led by communist legend E.M. S. Nambu Tripad in 1957. Iron Lady in Kerala politics K.R. Gauri, she passed away recently. Okay. And uh, the first Kerala Legislative Assembly, she started from here till 1977 when she lost the elections. But then she won again and again. So, she also piloted the Revolutionary Land Reform Bill of the first communist government in Kerala. In 1957, she was elected to the Kerala Legislative Assembly and she became the Revenue Minister. She was known as the Iron Lady of Kerala Politics, K.R. Gauri. Which Indian athlete from Kerala has been bestowed with the Women of the Year Award by World Athletics? World Athletics was earlier known as International Association of Athletics Federation and it is headquartered in Monaco. So, Women of the Year Award was given to Anju Bobby George, who is the only Indian to have won a medal in the World Championship in Long Jump. She won the bronze medal in the 2003 World Championships. On the occasion of International Tiger Day, 14 Tiger Reserves of India, they were given the CAT standard. CAT says Conservation Assured Tiger Standard. It is a certificate given which shows that a particular Tiger Reserve is at the global level or it meets the global standards. Out of these 14 Tiger Reserves of India, total there are 53 now. There were earlier 50. 51st was Meghamalai Shrivilu Puttur of Tamil Nadu. 52nd was Ramgadh Vishdhari of Rajasthan. And 53rd is Guru Ghasidas Tiger Reserve of Chhattisgarh. So, total now we have 53 Tiger Reserves in India and out of those 14 Tiger Reserves got the CAT certification. Which from Kerala was there? So only one from Kerala, Parambikulam Tiger Reserve got the CAT certificate. There are two Tiger Reserves in Kerala, Parambikulam and Periyar. Periyar did not get the CAT certificate. What is the rank of Kerala in the IPF Smart Policing Index? Kerala Police got the 4th rank in India. This index was taught by the Andhra Pradesh Police and Telangana was second. Kerala was fourth. Which city of Kerala secured the 21st rank in the Ease of Living Index released by the Ministry of Housing Urban Affairs among the smaller city? Which means it is the 21st most livable small city in India. Which one am I talking about? I am talking about Tiruvananthapuram. And which is the most livable small city in India, it is Shimla. It was ranked number one among the small city. When we say small city, we mean less than one million population. So, Tiruvananthapuram also secured 32nd rank in the Municipal Performance Index in the small cities. In the Municipal Performance Index also, it was number one from Kerala and overall 32nd in India among the small cities. And in the livable, ease of living index, which shows livability of a place, Tiruvananthapuram was 21st. So that was the video for Kerala Current Affairs. Complete one year. How did you find the video? I tried my best to include all the current affairs so that you don't miss out on anything. And I know that not many websites or newspapers, they cover the quality Kerala Current Affair. My idea is just to help you students. You are, set, you are in a state which is very far from where I am sitting. But the idea is to always bring a change in the society to always help people wherever I can. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends from Kerala. 
and let me know if there is anything more I can improve. Also, if you want the PDF of the video, let me know in the comments. I will send you the PDF also of the video for quick revision. Or you can join my Telegram channel also. Search by my name, Dr. Gaurav Garg. Now, there are a lot of fake Telegram groups. Please join the one which has approximately 90,000 members. And I am the pioneer of current affairs on YouTube. I started teaching current affairs in 2015. I was the first teacher who started teaching current affairs on YouTube. And if you want to study the daily current affairs from me, please download the Study IQ mobile app. That is where I've been teaching for the last three years. And I hope to see you in the classroom very soon. So thank you so much for watching the video.